Okay, focus on clean, clean, clean production. But first, we got some work to do. Back up there. All right, so we have a plan. I'm gonna launch myself into the desert and rebuild everything and pretend that this whole production doesn't exist. Let it do its thing and, it, you know, it'll at least be producing coupons, but I can always come back and check on it later. Um, see if I can catch a... Well, first of all, let's see what I need to produce. So, let me double check this. So, Mark III Miner required a turbo motor, which I don't have production for yet. So, I have to create production for that. So, turbo motor was... Turbo motor was cooling system. Okay, so I have plenty of these here and producing. I have plenty of rubber producing. So it's radio control unit, which I am producing as well. Then it's this cooling system. So this is the thing I need to add to production, which is rubber and heat sink, which I also need to add to production, which is all clad and copper. So I have copper and all clad producing together. So it just makes sense to put those together. Okay, hold on. And there we go, back to this. And then can I add the cooling system there? I have nitrogen there, so water and rubber. I might run rubber up or, I mean, rubber's not that far away. I could run it over and set up production for that. And then add water and some nitrogen gas. Yeah, we do that. Okay, so I need to understand what I need before I head out like a maniac. Or we just do the standard fill it up and pray method. Which, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's fill it up and pray. Just get a whole reset here, drop things off. Good girl, she got her bone now. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. Not chewing on random crap. Drop this back off here. Sure this one's doing okay. I mean, it looks like we got plenty in here. I could always put more. Oh my gosh. I should put more. That's it's uh going through them pretty quick. And then that'll put me in quite a good position going forward. drop some of that off as well. Let me keep a stack with me. There we go. Let me drop some stuff off here. Oh, this is tough, dude. Okay. We have like a million of these now. Yeah, I didn't need that many gas filters. Beardo. We 
Everything else makes sense. All right, let me empty this to-do list. Let me just grab stuff. Figure out what else I need to grab. Grab. Steel pipe looks good. I'll top that one off. Steel beam. Sure, that's probably plenty. Rotor, top it off. Reinforced plate. Yeah. Copper sheet, we need generally a bit, but we also have it there, so I'm not going to be as worried about that. Cable. Wire. Screw. Eh, I don't really use screws much. Too much of this, put two back. Iron plate, always good. One, two, three, four stacks is okay. Plastic. Got plenty. Let's drop some off. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I can't drop any off. Rubber. One stack of rubber should be plenty. Silica. Black powder. Oh, my gosh, Ellie. What are you doing? Encased. Actually, we do have a lot of encased in storage. Good. Stator. No. Motor. Package fuel, heavy mod, normal mod, we'll grab two, we'll grab just two stacks of those. Concrete, there we go, quick wire, hi Ellie, don't need more, AI limiter, just top off our stack, no, 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 um, I don't know. Do I need a stack? All clad is all good. Thousand should be plenty. I don't need supercomputers, radio control, crystal oscillators. I don't think I need anything else at the moment. Okay, but now we head over back over to aluminum. Lee's looking at me. I think she needs to go potty or something. I don't know why she's looking at me. Ellie, what do you need, girl? Find a train to hop on, and we'll try to take her out. Um, no trains here. Yeah, we've it's kind of weird staggering with the trains right now, unfortunately. It seems like they're all pushed together on the route. So they're all kind of pushing each other through, but... Let's see. Closest train looks like it might be over there. Yep. That's the best one. Is it stopping there? Okay, we'll hop in. And I'll figure out what Ellie wants. Ellie, what do you want? Alright. What do you want, Ellie? You want to go back out? Okay, hold on. Okay. 
needed to drop off so far. I need a mute mic button. It's I have a bowl of cereal. I'm going to eat it. Okay, no chewing in the mic. But getting closer at oil. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the empty bottle supply, because this is insane. There's no reason to have empty bottles flowing like that. Where are the empty bottles even going? Right here. Nope, that's nitrogen. Where are the empties? Oh, these are the empties? These are empties. I think. Oh, it's the overflow from this. That's right. Okay. No more overflow from that. Okay, we'll just... We'll just say that. No more overflow needed. Um, I could always use the package nitrogen as well and unpack it again or you know I have tubing coming here for nitrogen so I might as well use that okay so what what was I making first I was making the cooling system so we need water and nitrogen and rubber and a heat sink Oh, the heat sink is the first one. Okay. Heat sink is just all clad and copper. So I feel like what I should do is just pull some stuff away from here. Like just do a split here. I don't need to do a full split. Actually, what I'll do is overflow probably. So this will be super duper easy actually. And if I want to build a lot, I can even build a lot. So it'll be just a manufacturer? Was a manufacturer? No, it was assembler, right? For cooling system, just an assembler. 
uh, for the uh, heat sink. It's yeah, just an assembler. Okay, easy. So I'm gonna get a storage thing going to sort of load up as well. Maybe I do it back here. We get our storage. Industrial storage facing this way. Well, let's do normal storage so I don't have to load up as much. I don't have quite as big of a queue. And then what I'll do is two smart splitters here. Like this. Smart splitter. Just kind of make it as small as possible there. And another smart splitter. And run this one to here. And then we will say forward is going to be overflow. Forward will be overflow. And left will be all clad. And left will be copper sheet. There we go. Now we just run them down. doesn't work. Okay, here's what we do. We set up our stackers here, here. Maybe a couple more. One more. There we go. Here and here. And then I can even have multiple assemblers if I want. I should do multiple probably. I probably need quite a few cooling systems here. Let's do three, I guess. And we will run, stack some splitters up, production. Logistics, stack some splitters. Like here, far enough back. Here. Oh my gosh, okay. Too steep. Wait, why'd I go up? <laughs> That's probably why it's too steep. Let's bring it straight out here. Like this. this. Okay. I have power running somewhere. That was to get rid of stuff, right? Oh my gosh. Cooling systems. It was heat sink, not cooling system. Heat sink, heat sink, heat sink. Just like that. Ah, you bringing her back in? Did she poo? Terrible. Okay. All 
right, there's our spaghetti going. Hi, Ellie. How are you doing, lady? Good. Wow, a lot of copper. Wow, a lot of stuff already flowed in. Didn't even see that. Uh, oh, it ran out, though, because I didn't have enough. Can I give him some? Sure, here you can have some. That's, that's nice of me. Okay, so three of these are producing now. 7.5 per minute each. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can continue producing maybe over this direction. Hi, Ellie. All right, so here's the tricky stuff. Actually, not that tricky. Yeah, I think the centralized production is too complicated to really do effectively and too limited by the conveyor belt issues. The, what do they call it? The manifold that runs everything. Um, so it's going to be a blender. We need computers. Computer blue. Darling Pinky. Build some computers. Let me get some stuff running here. Eh, this is okay. I got a few minutes before it's going to fill up. Um, I need 10 computers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Circuit board. Have everything else. There we go. Get our 10 computers. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Yeah, computer production is very, very important. Very, very important. They're used for so many of these advanced recipes, it's crazy. Another thing I probably need to spend some time doing is actually going out and gathering more hard drives and investigating more of that stuff because... There's a lot of potential there for alternate recipes. Like, I still don't have the basic screw recipe, which could help a lot. Okay, there we go. Ellie, what are you doing, lady? All right, put our blender down here. It's blender. Um, that reference no one will ever ever get uh there was a captain disillusion is one of my favorite classic youtubers he's awesome he hasn't done as much recently but yeah he's still great still does some stuff um he's a great visual effects artist and he analyzes videos to see if they're fake and he's improved his skills a lot over the years and one of the tools he uses is Blender. It's a nice tool. I'm going to put a splitter here and probably start splitting it off. Ellie, what are you doing? I'm run this up here. Are you dragging your butt across the ground? I can't understand you, lady. Everyone thinks she's so cute, but she's gross. She's dragging her butt all over the place. Let's go straight. Uh, rubber is the other one. I'll probably run the rubber to the outside. Okay, so that's where it's going to go. Chasing her tail now. I'm going to put a little um, 
thing here just so I don't lose any while I'm trying to get rubber run. Rubber run? Rubber run. And we need to run nitrogen over here if possible. So I'm going to replace this one and this one with this one. Oh my god, she's chasing her tail like a lunatic. It's awesome. Okay, so cooling system. So we got that and that. We got some stuff. We got some stuff running to it. Two out of four things are going to be running to it. Why isn't it running? Okay, it is running right now. Just kind of loading up in here. Heat sinks are at 70. Okay. Nitrogen's flowing perfectly. It's going to fill up. Water and rubber. So water, don't I have water producing somewhere? It's always water o'clock somewhere. Ellie, what are you doing, man? What a crazy lady. Ellie, you gotta chill out. I think I need to do something with her. She's going a little stir crazy. Um, is water full on here, by the way? The extra water is coming to here. That's right. My extra water. Where else am I using water? Here? This is the output. The output of this is water. Okay, it's water. It's not full here, definitely. I think... How about from the water pumps? How about here? Is it full here? Uh, yes, it's full here. So I can pull this one, I think, from this and... Um, run it under or something. So just grab a... I'm going to grab it right in front of the pump here. Uh, pipeline junction here. Wait, why is... Okay, well... Sometimes it's tough to get it to click when you're in this kind of area where it's you're not working with a flat surface. So, so let's start running water. Just run it under here, maybe. One crazy potential solution is literally to package everything as far as liquids and take them where they need to be took without, you know, running tubing anywhere. That would be nuts. Just package it all. Although you need a you need plastic on site. That's the issue. So that isn't always going to be viable. Okay, so we'll keep running it along here. And then we will run it over to here and just try to get it right up to the edge of this here. I didn't get a lot of forward momentum there, so now I'm wonky. Okay. There we go. Water's coming now, hopefully. Look at that. It's already filling up. Ellie, you're going stir-crazy, lady. Let's see. Now it's time to run rubber all the way from the previous uh, stop, which isn't that far. It's not a crazy... Oh, my God. That is upsetting because I could have just used a vertical conveyor. 
built all over here. I'm just mad at myself for not working with those vertical conveyors. And ladders, you know? Work vertically. Something I need to do better. Ellie, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing, girl? Check. Ellie was supposed to have a play date yesterday, but it was really smoky. So I'm hoping maybe they'll have time today and we can still do the play date for Ellie because she hasn't. She's just been stuck here a lot and it's, it's a bummer. Alright, here we go. So, rubber. I'm going to send half of the rubber out this way. I think that's the nice route there. That's a cool route. Do this. Logistics. Smart splitter. And in order to only take half of it, all I have to do is set leave this to any. So if I leave this to any, it'll take half. And then I set this one to rubber. Start running it. And mark five should be fine because I obviously have some there. We set this to default and do it that way. Gosh, scary thing. Yeah, I wish you had like armor or something to increase your survivability overall, other than just improving your weapon. I don't think that's a as good of a solution as just you know giving you armor to protect yourself. I know that's not the focus, but it's a big part of the game, you know? You end up getting wrecked by things. I'm gonna stand... If you stand on the edge, it doesn't run as much, but it's kind of hard to get there. Do something here? I don't even know. Won't let me quite build to here, huh? Oh, out here. Okay, that's good. Now I can get up here. Sure looks good there.
same thing, just kind of follow where this is running. Just follow right along the edge here. I actually lined that up perfectly without even trying. There we go. Cooling systems in place. Let's amp this one up to take it to the next level. Do, 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 do the next level. I didn't know you were an A spa guy. I'm not. I just kind of know that song. Okay, so now what do we do? Now we have to run it, the output over here. Oh my God. It's so cool, look at that. It's right in the name, cooling system is right in the name. Now what was the other thing I needed, turbo, whatever? I mean, that's just gonna be a nightmare. So I'm gonna just send these guys over here, some of these guys over here as well. So let's see our outputs here. I just wanna check the output. So, wow, why is all clad so slow coming in here? Pretty fast there. Oh, it's just filled up those two first. Well, no, it's just slow. It's good there, it's all backed up there. I don't know. Okay, well that's fine. All right, so let's see our outputs here so I can calculate. We have 7.5, so we have 15, 22.5, and how many is this expecting now when it's all juiced up? 30. Ellie. So that means I either have to juice these up or unjuice this. I think I unjuice this, to be honest. I think 15 per minute should be... Well, not 15, but... Just take it out. 100%. There we go. Yeah, okay. 6 per minute's fine. And then that way it's taking uh, 12, which means I have 10 that'll go back and... Uh, Heat sinks, are they used for anything else, actually? Maybe I don't worry about it. It looks like it's only used in this, as for now. So, okay, let's get it up to 22, then. 24. Yeah, that'll use all of them. We don't even need a heat sink spot, actually. Unless something comes up that says you need heat sinks, I'm going to leave those out. If I need them for something, then I can get them for something. Um, let's go ahead and start running this over to our other system.
go. So now I have cooling systems coming in. And I am going to run back. Start getting the rest of this in place. To make turbo motors. What are you doing? No! You can't do that. That's not yours. You can't bite that. Cables. You know better. You got toys. Good. Good girl. You can have that. She figures it out so quick. Oh, no. She just kind of try you timing is so important. If you you have to do it like right as they're hitting it and then they figure it out. If you do it at the wrong time, they don't know what they're being corrected on. You also need to not use your NOs too often, because otherwise it loses meaning. So right now when I say it, she kind of jumps because she, she knows something's up, you know? Ellie, are you a good girl now? He's pretending to be a good girl. Are you pretending to be a good girl? Or are you really a good girl? I'm pretending. I'm going so slow. Good girl. There she goes. She made a choice. I watched her. She was sniffing the thing she wasn't supposed to bite. And she had the bone next to her that she is supposed to bite. Good girl! Good job, Ellie! Good girl! Good choice. She made a good choice there. Like, look at all that coal that I didn't even do anything with. That's terrible. So, you know, I have all this coal. Four, four coals here. I should have made a much better system. It's just kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Could have also done some steel production there as well. I don't know. I don't know what I should do there exactly. Good girl. Very good girl. Biting her new bone. We got her new Nyla bone yesterday. The old one was getting kind of mangled and almost had like sharpness to it because she was kind of, you know, chipping it a little bit. So I had these little sharp edges. I don't think, I hope it's not plastic. I don't think so. I think it's some safe material, but it's like plastic. So it's like plasticky shards. I couldn't land on it? Wow, that was the first time I ever had a chance to touch one of those. I didn't land on it, though. Okay, here we go. The first thing is I'll, I'll give it its own slot now. For cooling systems.
we just do this, get this out of the way right now. Oh, I don't have... No! Okay, I can't get that out of the way. Shoot. I can if I just grab the all clad. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All clad. Where is the all clad? I know it's full. Give me that all clad. Right there. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Now I can. And why is that not straight? That is terrifyingly bad there. Why is it bending in? Double check this. I'll use straight build and... At least with straight build, you can tell if it's all wonky. Ah. to stop for one moment and it's too much too Okay, so this one was, which one? This one was cooling system. And overflow. Overflow. You're no more like butterfly. We don't know who. So he chases them away. Oh, shoot. Okay. I just realized now I don't have the storage there anymore. The storage thing was actually kind of nice the way I had it before, but just building that system over and over again every single time, like, this is easier. The other system actually was kind of cool in its own way. It didn't make, you know, it presented more cleanly here because there wasn't just stuff stacked up there, but yeah, that's okay. All right, so I'm going to drop it off over here. How are we doing on time? Good. <laughs> We're going to start working on producing the last phase, which is turbo motor. Good girl. Turbo motor right here. So it's cooling system, radio control unit, motor, and rubber. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So all of those are just going to be coming right off the belt. Up here, I'm going to set the aluminum one to drop off the uh, cooling systems. Wasn't I supposed to have aluminum drop off nitrogen here or something? And I guess I just didn't have it in the right place. Okay, hold on. Aluminum is also supposed to drop off the package nitrogen here. Why isn't it dropping it off here? I think I put it at the wrong spot to drop off. Hold on, let me check the other ones. The aluminum casing, copper sheet. Yeah, I guess I didn't, I just didn't do it. Oh, did I do it at aluminum? No. Okay, so production three, cooling systems and packaged nitrogen. Perfect. Okay. Let's create our, our 
stuff here, logistics, organization, industrial storage, facing this way. These in line. Uh, logistics, no. Yep, logistics, okay, smart splitter. Facing the correct way. Here. Here. So I delete this as well. Oh my gosh, I deleted the foundation underneath. That's scary. That is just a death drop there. Hi, Ellie. You were doing so well. You were chewing on your bone. What happened? You got bored already of that? Set this for rubber. Overflow rubber. Overflow, uh, it was radio control unit. Overflow cooling system. And overflow motor. Motor flow. Just like that. That is not lined up at what in the world is this? How did this fail so badly to get lined up? It just like lined up with the wrong thing, it looks like. Okay. I'm not gonna redo it. Okay, and then run this one. There we go. Now, I think we just build our manufacturer. Uh, man, yeah, manufacturer. Right here, I don't... There's nothing really to this one, right? There's no nuance or anything. Let's line it up with this side and bring it out. Maybe? Come on. Okay, there we go. This is so ridiculous. Okay, there we go. that and then we're going to make turbo motor and this over here here feed it back to the line We got radio control units, no, nothing else. Let's see, I can give it some stuff here. I don't have any cooling systems for it yet. This. Yeah, okay, well hopefully this will get producing. <laughs> hopefully, once the cooling systems arrive, hopefully more stuff is gonna line up here. Oh, I need to drop motors off too, okay, so wait. Uh, where are motors produced? Where are motors being produced at? Is that secondary steel? Let me check this one. Are you motors? Are you motors? Can you stop at drop off, please? Okay, I'm not gonna get there on time to check, I don't think. It's getting close, it's close, it's close. Let's see if you have motors. They do have motors, good, okay. So secondary steel is gonna drop off motors here. This train's called secondary steel, right? Mm. Yeah, okay. Edit timetable, production three motors. 
motor. Here we go. I'll grab these motors out of here. That's fine. That's enough. Okay, good. Everything else is being dropped off. Is rubber being dropped off anywhere? Rubber might not be being dropped off by oil production. So we might have to drop off rubber. I'm trying to think if it's dry. Let's check oil production stuff then. Train. It's being used anywhere. Uh, which one is oil production? I haven't added that to this yet. Oh, that's quartz. This one must be oil production. Okay. Let me change the name. Whoops. Okay, oil production. Oh, I wanted to change something here. Edit timetable. Let me just check. Plastic. No. No, rubber. There we go. Okay. So, cooling system should be dropping off. Radio control unit is just going to come through. Rubber and motor are now being added to that. So I'm hopeful that we're going to have some really, really, not really, but, you know, decently nice stuff coming out here. Now I also need to add one for turbo motor as well. Because now turbo motor is going to be coming through, and I need turbo motors for the Mark III Miner. Yeah. You know, this... For having like a centralized point, I think I created actually a pretty cool system. I just don't think this is the best system in general. I think there's so many nodes in the game, and especially once we unlock Mark III Miners, we're going to be extracting so much ore per vein that like we only need one, even like an impure is going to be able to be the core of some production and if it's not then we just pump up the power on it you know because it that's just how strong it is right now um okay so i need to add the turbo motors to the list here and then i think the next one will be investigating the new location trying to get the thing set up because i'm pretty sure everything's going to be working hopefully turbo motor Motor red. Run over here. Set this one up. Turbo motor to the left. Good. And overflow here. Now. Now. Wire needs to be added to the list now. Wire should be added to drop off. Copper wire. I think copper sheet as well. Okay. Plastic already is, but copper wire, copper sheet. Wherever I'm picking up copper at. Where do I have the second copper production at? I don't even know. Oh, it's at the iron, basic iron. Basic iron is also producing copper. Hi, Ellie. Don't look at me like that with those doughy eyes. Those puppy dog eyes. Ellie, sit. 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 Good girl. Stay. Alright, so basic iron. We're going to discard copper sheet and copper wire. I might take this off for a little bit just to fill that back up since I do need it a lot. Copper wire, copper sheet. There we go. Oh, that's not good. just wire. There we go. Good. Things are looking up. 
train for quartz. All right. Well, that's perfect. We just hit an hour, so this is a very perfect episode. Clean and tidy. We added another thing to production so that I can do Mark III miners. What else did I need for Mark III miners, by the way? It was the other, those crazy cubes. Let's, let's see how their production's doing. Let me load up the packager. Is it still producing? This is yellow. Why is it yellow? What's it waiting on? Uh-oh. It needs more aluminum casing, which doesn't make any sense because I didn't. I have a ton. So why? Why didn't did I not give it more? All right, aluminum casing. Just take it all out. Do I have aluminum casing being dropped off a discard? Because I don't want that anymore. How's this one? Packaged nitrogen. You can drop more off there. Package nitrogen. Oh my god, look at that. 18 of those, that's good. How many are in here? 131? I love it. Package nitrogen. All right. Yeah. So we should have like a dedicated like handcrafting floor as well in a factory or something where, you know, it's just intended. I uh, Maybe in the storage facility probably. So I'm going to create storage, a cleaner storage presentation. Um, probably the way I'm doing it now. I... I don't really want to do the crazy routing that I did last time. The only difference is I think I'm going to have the trains running underneath. And then when they drop off, it's going to have certain products going to certain drop offs. And that should speed up things overall. Maybe different stations even. So I have like, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Have it have all the stations branching out so that one train drops off. At one station, one train drops off at the next station, that kind of thing. Okay, so... Queso. How are screws getting here? I still don't understand how screws keep getting here. What am, What is missing in, in terms of screw production that's not being discarded anymore? I mean, uh, the plastic production should have discard here. If it doesn't, that's a big problem. Yeah, it's definitely supposed to be unloading screws. Uh, what's the other one? Basic iron? That's supposed to be dropping off screws. Where else are screws coming from? I guess it's just not a ton, but there are some. Okay, I guess it's enough that it's not a problem. It's not, it's not horrible. Okay, what am I... What am I thinking about right now? I just was thinking about something, and I forgot what it was. Oh, all clad. I want to take all clad off of if it's being discarded. I don't want to discard it anymore. Not all clad. Uh, oh, it's being dropped off, but it shouldn't be being discarded. Maybe it's just needing more over there. Let's see. Edit timetable uh, for aluminum. Not there. Discard. Okay, that's being dropped here. I'm going to keep that now because... I'm using some. No, it's okay. For now, I'll, I'll leave that dropping off. So I'm not dropping off the uh, the casing at all. Edit timetable, aluminum. I'm sure all clad can stay on here. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I didn't save. Why didn't I press the save button? Drop off all clad. You, I gotta save twice, and that's silly to me. That's bad bad design in my opinion i mean it's a not bad design i i feel like that you just people just throw that around it's um it's not as optimal as i would like oh cooling systems were those cooling systems whatever coming through how are they here shouldn't they be being dropped off 
cooling systems are supposed to be being dropped off, right? How are they not being dropped off? I mean, 120, but they're not going to the right place. Hold on. We got to check on that. <sighs> Poor Ellie. I'm going to take her for a W-A-L-K after this, I think. I think the air is good. I'll double check. Nitrogen gas, that's being dropped off here, right? Is it actually being sent this way? Package nitrogen gas, let's check on that. Something is wrong with my setup here. Aluminum, production three. Right, let me check if I did something wrong here this thing overflow 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 but it doesn't have any cooling systems like none of the cooling systems came in I don't understand a bit odd a bit odd Okay, well, it's, it's working. It's doing its thing. Well, that's good news. The other thing is I could try to start off my new setup with... Uh, with... Appropriate production. Nuclear. Only nuclear power. If I could somehow get that set up try to focus on that. I'd have to see if there's uranium over there where I land, somewhere over there. And then I could try to get everything set up and it might be a lot of back and forth. So the next thing I'm going to do while this is producing is I'm going to be launching myself quite a few times back and forth. And uh, first of all, trying to get the launch angle correct. <laughs> Once I have the launch angle correct and the amount correct to ensure that I get there where I want to get then I will uh, and get back which will probably require setting up some biomass burners or something at first to, to get enough fuel to launch myself but not a big deal once I get that set up then it's gonna be pretty simple after that so not pretty simple uh, I'm gonna be 
probably trying to do nuclear power out there because if I can start off with nuclear power, the highest power, then I'm set on power and I don't have to worry about trying to set up coal plants or anything. I can use coal for steel. I can just have that nuclear power going and everything else will be meaningless. So that would be a really great way to start, um, which I think because the nuclear waste, let me see. I think the nuclear waste is, is there a way to repurpose it? Because I think you're not able to dispose of it. Is this what we're unlocking next? The, something we can repurpose the nuclear waste into? Because I think you can dispose of it after you process it into something else. Is that what this is? Particle enrichment? Hold on. Can be non-fissile uranium. Maybe that's it. Non-fissile uranium. Berries per recipe. Jeez, Louise. A lot of craziness here. Okay, a lot of crazy stuff to work on. But I think we can do that. Pellets and stuff like that. Okay, so you just end up making this... Maybe this or this out of it. Cell and then plutonium fuel rod. So you take that waste and you make it into power of some kind used as fuel for nuclear power plants. Highly radioactive. Can it just be used for generic power to nitric acid, nitrogen gas and water? Okay, cool. <sighs> so maybe I'll do this as well. All right, well, we'll get there. Look at that. We already have the fuse modular frames done. We're working on turbo motors right now. Pooling system is good, although a lot of it's going to be going to this. Um, I might have to work on that and then just some quick wire and hey, that's easy peasy. I think we can do it while we're working on the other stuff. Okay, so goal for next time get launched to our new biome where we're going to rebuild everything from scratch come and make sure we can go back and forth and uh hey i'll catch you in the next one bye